Hey everybody, it's Tim from Lanessa Farm Specialty and Heirloom Livestock. Thanks for joining us again today. As always, if you'd like to contact us, check us out at our website at www.lanessafarms.com. Send us an email at customerservice.lanessafarms.com or give us a call or send us a text at the number listed below. We appreciate your feedback and we appreciate you checking out our videos. These are made for people just like you based off the feedback we receive. So keep it coming. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. And we really appreciate those thumbs up. Today we are talking about feeding sheep with round bales. And without further delay, let's get started. Hey everybody, it's Tim from Lanessa Farms, especially in heirloom livestock. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment to talk with you today. Uh, real quick, we just cleaned this out today. Uh, got the skid steer in here. It's it's that muddy, nasty fall time of year, but uh, we got the skid steer in here today and we cleaned up a little bit. And while I was in here working, I thought this would be a good time to go over our round bale feeder with you guys uh, and talk about how we feed our animals with the round bale feeder. Um, a lot of people want to feed with round bales because it's more cost effective, but they find that it's easier to handle the squares. Um, they get a lot of waste with the round bales. Um, they have problems handling them. Uh, I, I just want to give you a few tips and tricks to help you figure out how to, how to make this work. Um, as you can tell, we've got uh, our round bale feeder over here with our sheep, uh, not with our goats. And the reason for that is, is the goats have horns and, and you're not going to want to use this setup with any animals that have horns because they, there's a potential for them to get caught in there. So a uh, typical galvanized round bale feeder. Uh, that you can pick up at, at any uh, farm store um, and we've made some modifications to it, some real simple modifications. Now what you will find and what we found was when we initially got the round bale feeder, um, the animals were doing two things. One, they were reaching and pulling everything out on the ground. Um, uh, two, uh, the openings are too big and they were able to jump up in there and get up in there. So the way we got around that uh, was we, we utilized a tie-down strap. Um, and initially we put the tie down strap around and you can see we, we put it about six inches, uh, gave about a six inch gap. We put the tie down strap on and what that did uh, was it prevented them from jumping in there. Uh, but then what the, the sheep found out was that they get their head underneath and they could move it and they were manipulating the tie down strap so there was enough room and again they were getting in there. So what I did was I took some screws, um, just some, some regular uh, sheet metal screws and I actually went through the tie down strap once I got it tightened down um, and I just drove some screws in. And what this does is this prevents the, uh, this prevents um, the strap from being able to move. Um, and as you can see, um, not a whole lot of waste. You can see how the animals have to stick their heads in there. The other thing that we do is when we put our round bales in there, we actually flip them up on their end. Uh, if you've ever tried to peel off a round bale, oh man, it's a disaster. But uh, the easy way to do it is you put them up on their side. And when you put them up on their side, look at that. See how that just peels right off of there? It makes it really easy to peel that hay down as opposed to if you try to peel it off when it's up on, up on its edge as we normally see them. Uh, so if you ever need to peel the round bale, make sure you throw them up on their edge. Um, again, uh, pretty easy. Uh, saves quite a bit. We've got about 30 ewes that'll eat off of this round bale. Um, takes them almost two and a half weeks. Uh, and so uh, it seems to fit everyone. They're able to get in and out without any issue. Um, and every day what we do is we just come out and simply just pull some down. Um, and then when we pull some down, it allows uh, them to be able to get to more of it. But yeah, no issues whatsoever. We really like this setup. It seems to be working good for us. And like I said, not much waste. Most of the uh, stuff that you see on the ground right now is actually just some straw that we put down this morning. Um, so uh, yeah, one other thing I wanted to talk to you about, if you come over here real quick, uh, get my camera and lady to come over here real quick. So when you put the round bales in here, what you're gonna find is you're gonna need to take off a panel of this round bale um, in order to put the new bale in. Uh, so when you take this panel off, I put my junction right here with my tie down strap. And what I do is I just break this loose. Um, and then when I take my bolts out, the strap just goes with it. I just open it up like a door. I bring the round bells in, I flip them in and, uh, and that's it. So again, if you got any questions, please let us know. Uh, but as you can see, um, 
you know, they're able to easily fit their heads through here without any issues. Uh, and it works out really good. And again, all I got to do is reach up here and simply just pull some down if I need to. Um, and it works, it works out great. So again, I, I wanted to mention, you don't want goats in here. The reason is the goats can stick their heads through, the horns get caught and they can't get them back out. So if you look over here on the other side, you can see this is our, this is one of our goat feeders. This is how we feed our goats. Um, we make them pull it through the wire. So, but we'll give you another video on those kind of feeders at a later time. Uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We appreciate your feedback. If you have questions, comments, concerns, uh, by all means, let us know. Uh, we're going into the holidays. Uh, I should have some more videos before the holidays, but if I don't, everybody have a happy uh, Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. All right. Well, thanks for watching our video today. We greatly appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Listen, if you haven't subscribed yet, it's not too late. Click the subscribe button below and don't forget to check the bell so you can be reminded every time we put up brand new content just like this. As you can see, we are on social media, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Make sure you check those out. Make sure you follow us and don't forget to keep that feedback coming. Have a great day.